Yo, friends, hey, I want to share my experience. This cop thing is going crazy. You people lost your mind. <laughs> okay, all I got is, is where I've been at, my personal experience, and I want to share with you my uh, experience-based solution on getting results online and why clout kind of does matter, but you shouldn't be worried about it. So first off, you want to have some products, some services. You want to be an expert. You want to be able to help people to uh, overcome the problems they face. And once you, once you get good at that, once you know your stuff, you want to go out and you want to work with people. You want to find like-minded individuals that you enjoy, people that you believe in, people that you see creating great products that can help your core audience. And there's nothing wrong with uh, encouraging them and, and wishing them success and supporting their efforts and letting them know, hey, you know what, I, I, I appreciate you. You're awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. And <clears throat> when you do that and when you show up and when you're visible on Facebook, all kinds of things happen. Number one, you're visible. You keep popping up in people's mind. You're there. You're making folks laugh. You're being yourself, whether you're funny, whether you're serious, whether you're sharing analytics data. Whatever you're doing, there'll be other people that are very interested in what you have to offer. So you'll be showing up and you'll be in people's minds. That's a very good thing. Number two, you'll be able to support, right? You'll be able to support the efforts of other marketers that are moving forward. You can be a part of their success. And when it makes sense, you might want a JV. You might want to support their product launch. And re in return, sometimes marketers will want to be a part of what you're doing, whether it's a blog post or sharing something or commenting on your news feed. It's not so much trying to increase your clout score. <laughs> I mean, it is, right? I mean, it's a metric. So there's nothing wrong with the metric improving and going up, but just focus on the same old stuff that business-minded uh, entrepreneurs have been doing for a long time, and that is building re, uh, relationships with people, establishing partnerships, encouraging growth, and helping one another to succeed. And when you do that, and when you start interacting with other like-minded entrepreneurs, they'll want to be a part of what you're doing. Not all of them, but that's okay. You don't need all of them. You need a handful of strong partners that uh, like what you're doing, and when they get on board with you, it will help you move to where you want to go. That's what this crazy social media is all about, and clout is simply a metric that measures the effectiveness of your reach across the social network site. Now, of course, the more reach you have, the more interactions with people that you have on Facebook, the better your clout score is going to improve. Now, I want to slow down and I want to talk about one of those last things when I did this, because th what that means is this. It's not how many people are following you. It's not how many people you have on your list. This is a kind of a, a misconception. Rather, it's how many people are paying attention to the messages you send out. It's how many people are not only paying attention, but interacting, engaging with you. And when you do that, when you prioritize your efforts, when you work on your products, when you uh, build something that matters, when you create something that helps people with solutions to problems they face, and you're visible on social media, well, guess what? People just might want to be a part of what you're doing. And friends, that's why clout matters. Woo! <laughs> I'll see you later. It's Brian J. Have an awesome day.